drop a beat. This is how. This is how. This, this is, is how, how it starts. starts. Y'all didn't know I have a DJ <laughs> name on the weekend. We drop a different beat. <laughs> All right, it is time for the Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Ooh, Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Thank you. Thank you. Today we won't chew into the mics this time. Is that a better one? <laughs> that was awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, fanatics? <laughs> it gets me every time. Welcome to another live edition of the Funko Funcast. This week, recorded at New York Comic Con 2019. <laughs> I'm your host, Sully. This is Hillary. I'm Cameron. It's Ashley from work. If you want to know my name, you must listen to the pigeons. <laughs> but not the pretty kind wearing masks and t-shirts. Go for the dirty ones, with ones with the rusty beaks and broken wings and a little peg leg, because they have seen the mouth of madness. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. What up, hooligans? My name is B.B. Jupiter. Wait, what? Do you say Baby Jupiter? B.B. Jupiter. <laughs> B-B? Do we have to address B-B. you by this, this now? Is starting off great. He's in is the Rise of Skywalker. Don't worry about earlier it. earlier if I've ever met anyone named B.B.? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sweet That's baby. my SoundCloud rap name. Sweet B.B. <laughs> this is how we start. Yep. Uh, hey, before we get started on what is hopefully not the third lost podcast... Like to bring y'all's attention up to the screen there for a, uh, a little detail. Has anybody in the room not listened to the Funko Funcast before? Don't be scared. Raise your hand. It's cool. If y'all could kindly leave. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Boo. No. We appreciate it. If you like Funko and you like pop culture, please give our podcast a listen. There's all the places you can listen to it. It is not a sales pitch. We like to talk about pop culture, have some fun, and occasionally talk about some Funko products. Get on it. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, I'd like to thank Brian, who is counting. Everyone shout numbers at him. Yay. Three, Yay. seven. Hey. <laughs> like to thank. <laughs> like you can never JJ, fool Brian. Way over on the other side there, and Kyle, who is in the audience doing some, and Ethan, who are helping out. Uh, and also, shout out to uh, Brian up here, who put together this wonderful presentation you guys see. So don't blame me if anything goes wrong. <laughs> We do have some rules for the fun cast. We do this every time. If you're going to treat some uh, treat, tweet, or Instagram some photos from this evening, please use the hashtags up there. All of them are required. That fell flat. Uh, please don't live stream the whole thing as if you could get a connection. And we will be doing some Q&A soon at a mic right over here. Uh, so if you want to, you can go ahead and line up for when we get to the Q&A. It's going to be a little while. You might want to park it. Guys, just to let you know, it feels so good to sit down. Today was crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys enjoy today's con? I, I just now remembered to hit record. Good job. <laughs> hey, better now than never. Oh, we only lost two minutes. We're golden. Three. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, first up is the Fun Cast Blast. <gasps> fun Cast Blast? Fun Cast Blast! Fun Cast Blast! Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew. Oh, there you go. That's a new, new Chef's kiss. Pew, pew, All right, we got pew. some questions sent in by fans. Before we got started this week, y'all know how to send them in if you've listened before. It's podcast at fungo.com. Question one this week from MC Dizzle. If you could go back anywhere in time and take credit for any invention, that should be, or an invention, what would it be? And this is not a get rich quick question. It's more of a what would you want your legacy to be? Hillary, what you got? I'm going to go with the post-it note. <laughs> oh, okay. Romy or Michelle? <laughs> Both. <laughs> because I love that movie. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead with the uh, peanut butter filled pretzel. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to go with a vacuum. Ooh. Ooh you need it. How family friendly can we be here? <laughs> Very. I don't want to edit. Crap. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Spoon, and you're welcome. <laughs> the spoon? Yes. The spoon. What about it's the close spork? to the knife. What about the f- yeah, spork. 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 Yeah. I changed my mind. Spork. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with sliced bread. People seem to always reference that. Ooh. Ooh. Do you eat the sides? Best thing since. The no, butts? no. The what? I don't, I don't the mess butts? with the ends. The, the butts? Yeah, it's the butts of the bread. Bread butts? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Bread butts. 
<laughs> there you go. Right? Oh, that's why <laughs> Dima likes them so much. <laughs> MC Dizzle said he would have invented the combination of peanut butter and jelly. Sorry to those who have peanut allergies. All right, next question from Neeson. Which guest at NYCC 2019 would you choose to guest on the live Funcast? You can choose one, and to help you out, Cameron, you'll be going first. You might want to know who's here. Yeah. Does that help? That I had to look help. it up. I'm not going to lie. I knew Tom Hiddleston and Paul Rudd, and that was about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Adam Savage, Alexis Denisoff, Amy Acker, Amy Joe Johnson, Anthony Rapp, Ashley Eckstein, Benedict Wong, Betty Gilpin, Billy Boyd, Billy D. Williams, Breckenmeyer, Catrion Balfe from Outlander. I can't Were you pronounce rapping it. just then? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's as I close as I get to the like Eminem I would like to be. Uh, oh, Charisma Carpenter's here. No pressure. <laughs> Christopher Eccleston, Clancy Brown, Claire Kramer, Donald Faison, Doug Jones, J. August Richards, and more. Oh, Donald Faison. Yeah. That would be so fun. He'd be so fun to be around. Brown Bear? What's that? Brown Bear. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ashley? Um, I don't know the actor's name, but the guy that plays the Punisher, Hillary and I saw him today, oh. and he gave us a Yes. John Burnham. He uh, gave us a head nod, so, yeah. you know. We walked right by him. Yeah. <laughs> Dima. I choose British Sully. What? British Sully. British yeah, Sully. like a twin British twin from Sully. If you start on me, you know I speak yes. a, with a British accent. See, that's the thing. Sully's actually British, but you would never know until no. you startle him. <laughs> I've really worked on this accent. Uh, I left one name off the list on purpose. Uh, I did not know she was here until I happened to be walking by the sci-fi thing. Anyone know who I'm talking about? Felicia Day. Thank you for coming tonight, Felicia. Appreciate it. Wherever you are. Who went, I was there when Sully found out. He actually <laughs> gasped and was like, oh, she's here. <laughs> In a like, British accent. Like, like, yeah. um, I would also go Donald Faison. Um, he was on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, <laughs> makes sense. All right, next question. From Nicholas Scott, who is your favorite late night host? Conan, Fallon, Kimmel, Corden, Cor Colbert? Uh, his is Conan. Ashley, what do you got? Conan, for sure. Stefan Colbert. He's my final answer. You didn't need to phone Ooh. a friend? What's uh, up? I'm going Jimmy Kimmel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Conan all the way for me. Nice. Does it have to be off this list? No, if you got another one, you go for it. Uh, I would go with Jesus and Mero. Yeah. Number, number one show on late night. Noise. They have some fans here. <laughs> BX are, all day. Are they? <laughs> No, it was. And then we got a bonus question from Sully. Who would you like to see get their own talk show? This is not a loaded question. Just seriously, who would you answer? Uh, Dima. Uh, let me skip that. Let me think about that really quick. Mm. Can I skip that? No. Yeah, give him some oh. time. Yeah. That's Let him harsh. consult the pigeons. Okay, it'll be like a ball of animals. Oh. Just a like a wild rodents. A bunch of wild rodents. Red King, maybe. It's like Meerkat Manor. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that'd be great. What? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm sticking to. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, I'm going to mix things up, and I'm going to say also a guest here at uh, NYCC 2019, Felicia Day. <laughs> How outside the box. I know. <laughs> don't get me started on Tokyo Drift. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't you on Tokyo Drift to host a late night talk show? What about Nathan Fillion? What about a yeah. Whataburger franchise? Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. A Whataburger franchise walks into a bar. <laughs> I, I'm going to go Dima's route, and I'm going to go with my own cat. I just want to know what's on her mind. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, Winona Ryder. I think Ooh, that would be a fun, yeah. oh. fun host, yeah. I'm going to go with Dima. What? Oh. Hey, what? He's got some what? good questions. <laughs> now you have your own show. Sweet! <laughs> Me and my rascally co-host every day. Wait, is this day. how you get your own show? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> what station would Dima's talk show be on? Oh, he's going to be in the dark web. Late night, absolutely. The dark web? <laughs> yep. I feel like, it, I feel like it would be on Cartoon Network, like uh, Adult Swim. Yeah. At like 3 to 4 yeah. in the morning. <laughs> all yeah. animated. It's going to be all pixelated yeah. because you don't want to see anything on that show. <laughs> every week in a different cartoon style? That's right. It's just a bad. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be very poorly done CG. <laughs> All right, we're about to get into some gaming, but before we do, uh, again, thank you to JJ and Brian for handing out the, uh, the the raffle tickets. Did everyone get a raffle ticket? Raise your hand if you did not. It's all of hands. Oh, oh. sorry. 
<laughs> That's how you juke an entire audience. <laughs> Did anyone not get a raffle ticket? In the back. Okay. One miss you in the back. Hello, do we, sir. Do we have any additional ones? JJ or? Okay. They're going to take care of you. But before we do that, we do want to talk a little Funkoverse. Who's excited about the new Funkoverse board games? <laughs> Who already purchased a Funkoverse board game? Oh, so pre-ordered. Kudos. Oh, you've played it. What'd you think? He likes it. Oh, that you can put things in hands. That's awesome. Well, you guys have been picking up on Funkoverse, or you will pick up on it soon. Uh, it's got those awesome pop figures in the box that are a little smaller than the uh, typical pop, which I think is really cool. You want to tell them about uh, this thing coming up? <laughs> <laughs> The Funkoverse? The, uh... The fingers coming down. Ah, uh, yes, the Funkoverse. Shall I just show Strategy it? game. So, as you might know, it's hit shelves already. It's, you can buy it. It's just out there now. Get it. Um, we're going to challenge you uh, starting Monday the 7th to go find it in retail spaces. Take a photo of yourself with it. Post it with hashtag Funkoverse. We'll post all this later. You don't have to remember it. <laughs> For the chance to win. Oh, wow. Dang. Shout out to Brian for those sound effects. Well, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it killed. Could someone help the sheik pull his jaw up off the floor, please? <laughs> <laughs> He's having a moment. So we'll be picking winners several times a week for uh, the month of October for everyone who participates in this. Uh, scavenger hunt style giveaway, and we will be posting more information on Monday, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah. One more time, what'd y'all think about that image? Yeah, you guys yeah. rock. Yeah. All right, next up we're gonna get to that game. And to do that, I'm gonna pull up seven of you, seven, Get the fun cast up. number based off raffle tickets. And because last year I got a little feedback about picking numbers from one section over and over again, <laughs> I've downloaded a handy Rude. dandy randomizer app, so it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call these out. When I call your number, everybody have your ticket out. It's the one with the smiley face. When I call your number, give me a big whoop and hold it up in the air so we can move on to the next number, all right? <laughs> First one up. One, three, two, eight, two. One, three, two, eight, two. I hear no whoop. Where is the whoop? Where's the whoop? Whoop. Whoop, there's a whoop. whoop there <laughs> it is. All right, so stand up and come to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the whoops get better. <laughs> 13, two, eight, four. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. Please, don't, the please app. don't boo, Sully. At the end, I will give you details on who made the app, and you can talk to them and leave them a review. I wonder if they're from Texas. Come right up to the mic up here. Yeah. What a burger. Yeah, step up to the mic, and then I'm going to tell you in a minute what you got to do. Just, just hang there for me. Water burger. All right. Did 13284 come up? Yeah. And 282? <laughs> okay, gang. No. Let's go over this again. Did 13282 is not here? No one? Did you come up to the mic? Come up to the mic. There we go. 13217. All right, come up to the mic. Shake the Woo! box, is that what you said? Rig. No, as proud as I am yes. that there's a rigged chant going, it's not rigged. Slightly out of the range there. 13156. Let's hear a whoop. Where's the whoop? Where to whoop at? 13156? 13156. Going once, going twice, moving on. 13370. Controversial. <laughs> Sully, I don't know why you would There's say that. that. Forklift driving this down. is backfiring horribly. 13370. Everybody in line was one of my winning lottery tickets, or raffle tickets, right? I got five of you. What was the number in the Yankees jacket? There we go. All right, now we're on. We need two more. 13398. What 
<laughs> it sounded like a Disney character. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Thirteen three nine eight. This is way tougher than I thought. Man. Thirteen zero seven eight. What was your ticket number, sir? Okay, good. So there's our seven. We have the seven. Woo. Wee. We Wee. got there. And the podcast Ow. is over. All right, we're going to play a little game called Witch Witch, starting with my man here on the mic. The game here is Can You Identify the Correct Pop Culture Witch from a Selection of Two Based on the Quote Provided? We're going to make it easy on you because we're going to give you two options. In round one, is it Willow or the Sanderson sisters? Sanderson. I haven't even given the quote. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's 50-50. It is 50-50. 50-50, 50-50 was at San Diego Comic-Con. That was different. All right. Yeah, Sir, what's yeah. your name? E. E? Based on this quote. I knew it, I knew it. Well, not knew it in the sense of having the slightest idea, but I knew there was something I didn't know. Is it Willow or the Sanderson sisters? Willow. Let, let, let Willow. E answer. Willow. Good guess. wonder how you got that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. E, your prize is to pick any one of the 25 boxes located on the floor right here in front of us. <laughs> if you would hold up the box... Open it! Show the audience what you got, sir. And also us, so we can say it out loud. And what was it? Oh, Ooh. Lady Liberty. Hello, Hello Kitty. Kitty. You're welcome, me. Me. Hello, yeah. Kitty. Wow. Stole my line, sir. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. <laughs> Lady Liberty. Hello, Kitty. All right, okay. next question. We'll do better. What is your name, sir? Josh. Josh. Hi, Josh. Round two. What's up? Is it the Sanderson sisters? Or Sabrina. Sabrina. Your, <laughs> your clue. <laughs> not today, Satan. Sabrina? Which one do you think it is? Sabrina. <laughs> All right. Pick a box. Hold it up. Show the crowd. And then show us. Christmas morning. Nice. The gold Demi Gorgon from San Diego Comic Con. Exclusi. All right, round three. Who do we have at the mic? Okay. Alvin? Alvin. Yep. Welcome, Alvin. Thanks Thank for you. coming to the podcast. I like your jacket, man. Thanks. <laughs> yep. Round three. Is it Ursula? Ursula! Or <laughs> Lafayette? I see some, I see some surprised faces in the crowd. Well, Did you watch True Blood? A He's a witch. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. And we made True Blood. <laughs> so much for true love. Ursula. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey. Come on down. Pick a prize. We're three for three. Number twenty. What's in the box? What could it possibly be? Wait, no, no, no. Show us, Alvin. Show us. It's is that the uh, the Blue Water Pop no, from San Diego Comic Con? He knows. Oh yeah. He must have downloaded the Funko app. There you go. Oh yeah. Who do we have next? Cindy. Cindy, are you ready? She looks a little nervous. <laughs> fifty fifty chance, Cindy. Fifty 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 fifty. Oh no, that's, that's a couple extra fifties. Round four. Hermione from Cats and Owls. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> or go. Glinda the Good Witch. And the quote, come out, come out, wherever you are. Glinda. Nice. Well done. This front row is Man, really this, invested in this, which numbers are selected. This crowd in general is rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yes, that is true. I know sports. You do. Steve. Oh, we 
we're getting photos of that too. Sir, what's your name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony. Round five. Which witch? <laughs> Evil witch. Or Scarlet Witch. Oh my gosh. We have favorites. <laughs> <laughs> and your quote, wanna play ball? Number two? Number one? <laughs> <laughs> he said number one is his answer, and he is correct. Yay! Well done, sir. Y'all didn't call me up. Nice. Hey. Oh, thank you. I got, a, I got a raffle ticket. All right, round six. Who do we have at the mic? Eddie. Eddie. The Red Witch. Or Hermione. Okay, you gotta name you one of them stop. right. Yeah. <laughs> Hermione. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Cats and out. Sully, you gotta read Harry Potter one day, man. You'd love it. <laughs> the quote is, I see darkness in you. Hmm? <laughs> one? One wow. is the correct answer. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, social media. Fred is. It, it warms my heart that social media Freddy gets bigger applause than all those other ones. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Don't tell the licensors. All right. Who do we have at the mic? David Cruz. DC3. David Cruz. DC3. 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 Round seven. Seven. Glinda. Oh, sorry. Glinda. Or Lafayette. See, we educated. People aren't giving the confused face anymore. They got it. You're a witch who's a nurse and a dude. How did I get so lucky? <laughs> I wonder which one. <laughs> but, like, could you imagine if it was number one? Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. What was it? Oh, Abominable Snowman. Oh, White yeah. Flocked. Yeah. Shout out to Canada. <laughs> Shout out to Shout Canada. Out to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I, I had a backup question. I think you guys might want to answer, so you can just scream it out when you know the answer. Round eight. Is it, is it those Sanderson sisters finally? Or the or Scarlet Witch? Sometimes it's hard, but sooner or later, every man shows himself. You all don't get a prize, but good job. <laughs> Isn't the real prize the friends you met along the way? Oh. <laughs> all right. Funko app. You guys have seen this video a few times. One million times. So we're going to let it play out. But we just remind you to download the Funko app. It's available right now on Google Play and the App Store. Make sure that you get it. And we're going to let it finish so it doesn't mess up the uh, entire deck. If you'd like. Yeah. So some of you might have seen that we launched the Funko Fan Club. Who is already signed up? There we go. There we go. Woo well done. For those of you who haven't, you can make sure you've updated the uh, Funko app. And then just over on the right-hand side near the settings, there's an option to join the Funko Fan Club. It's free. Make sure you do it when you have an internet connection. Uh, I'm not going to read all the words on the screen. I think y'all are all adults. Read the words. You really want me to? Do not British. Shall I do it at high speed? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. So We've got to time them. we got to yeah, time them. we got to time them. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, shall Dima read no. it? Are we doing this? Yeah. yeah. How, how long do you think it would take you? Good Lord. How like long? 17 minutes. 17 minutes? Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. Oh, no. Get, like be, give us a real. Uh, 110. 110. 110. All right. Okay. Should we drop you the ready? beat rate? 40 seconds. High or low? You go think lower? I can go quicker than live, that? Live dangerously, Sully. Yeah. Come on, man. 48. I thought you liked Fast and Furious. Okay. For anyone who hasn't listened right. to the podcast, they're like, right. what is happening? <laughs> All right. Here we go. 
The Funko Fan Club is the premier loyalty program for pop culture fans. Starting today, we will roll out the program and start gathering feedback and prioritizing your path forward. Benefits are waiting in the wings of fully rolled out, including early access content and early flash sale access in the Funko app. But we want to listen to you before we line up too much. In the meantime, we will be selecting members of the program to send items from their wish list, giving away convention and seasonal bundles and more. For now, the Funko Fan Club will focus on rewarding the most engaged users on all the platform. So keep that collection wish list up to date, and you could be the next collector to receive a surprise from Funko. <laughs> Sully, you just set like a land speed record. Yeah. <laughs> it's 26 Never seconds. doing that again. 26. That was 26 seconds. Nice. I am lightheaded right now. I All feel right, like well. I was listening to a medication commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Thank am you. I red in the face right now? Can I get another water? Do you need some water? <laughs> so Please since you guys all probably got all of that anyway, I don't need to say that if you haven't signed up for the loyalty program yet, you can jump in anytime. You can do it from your phone. You can do it on the web if you'd like. Um, and once you opt in, uh, you will be signing up for the potential to be surprised and delighted sent product. Uh, there's ways that we might start to fulfill wish list items. Um, we'll take your feedback based on what's on your wish list to help inform what's made in the future. And you can really have an impact on what we do as a company uh, by speaking your voice and voting by adding to your wish list. So definitely worth jumping in and uh, interacting. And if you do it before the end of the convention, you will actually be entered to win a bundle of all the NYCC exclusives. We'll be giving away five of those. So Woo! get in there if you haven't. If you already have, you're already eligible. So Wait, good job. What was that last part? <clears throat> Giveaways? Giveaways? Giveaways, you say? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be giving away five bundles of all the NYCC Funko exclusives <laughs> after the show to people who have uh, opted into the Funko fan club. So Am I eligible? So, yeah, I think you know the answer I think to that. you're already in it, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I signed up early. <laughs> All right. I think you guys might like this next slide. Uh, everyone is looking at that. I could do what something over here right now. No one would see it. Sully, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yep. How y'all like that pop selection? It's... A, it's that's Sully. it. That is the reveals right there. <laughs> someone just gets up and leaves. <laughs> Funko, no, not yet. <laughs> not Funko yet. Hollywood. You guys know we're getting an LA store coming your way, and we urge you to follow the brand new shiny Facebook page for Funko Hollywood. Facebook.com slash Funko Hollywood is where you go. Make sure you're following because you want to get updates like the early preview we're going to give you on this next slide. Yeah. I'm letting it sink in. Letting it sink in. There, you get it. You understand. Did you, one of y'all want to talk about this? Or you want me to, you want to jump in? Yeah, I can do it. You want to jump? Jump in. Jump okay. in. Yeah. So, uh, for anybody listening, um, not here in the room, uh, the slide is saying that we're teaming up with Alaska Air to send some fans to the grand opening of the Funko Hollywood store. So, follow the Facebook page to stay updated on that. It's, uh, we're very excited about it, and we'd love to get some real fans there. The real fans. The real fans. Real fans. What was that? Was there a question from Nima? Uh, no, he was just reiterating real fans. Real fans. Th that was important for me to say, the yeah. real fans. Do How you, many of us? Do you think? Moving on. Like, when, when might <laughs> the store open? Okay, do, I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, oh, but only if you promise not to tell anyone, Sully. It's a secret. Oh. All right. No, no, no. Right. Stop. No live streaming. We told you. <laughs> I'm watching you. Are you, are you ready? I, I would like to I know. I think we okay. want to know. The grand opening will be Monday, November 18th. There we go. So uh, yeah. for those of you who need to book airfare and hotel, go. Yes. All right. Moving right along. Oh, we got a reveal. This is not shown to anyone yet. We got special permission to show you guys in the room first. Do we have any Overwatch fans? I, JJ is a fan. <laughs> so we've got some new mystery minis coming your way. <laughs> Gary Lee is excited. That's the best reaction I've ever heard. <laughs> That's not all. There's a big blank space over on the left. I'm not messing with you if we're putting something in there. Pop Leopard Doomfist. Pop 
Baptiste. Look at all those cameras in there. Oh, you like you like that one, did you? How about another version? Ashley whipped all that up in paint while we were waiting out in the hallway. <laughs> I tried. All right, we've got another reveal. We're not done yet. So you guys know about the 12 days of Christmas we've done in the past. We are going to turn it on its ear this year and do something a little different. It's in writing up there. Uh, I, am, I am here to tell you, it's written up there, pop only in a bundle that will go up on Cyber Monday... 12 different pops, all pops, and you'll get it all in one shipment. Did, did you catch the all pops parts? Really want to drive that home. And, oh, well, there's snowflakes. <laughs> oh, so, hey, Sully, so you forgot. There's a 10 inch surprise in there, right? <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. A big surprise? A big surprise. A 10 inch surprise. A, a big old 10 inch surprise. A 10 inch pop in the bottle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, can't just let that one hang All out. All right, whatever. <laughs> Giving them the sound bites they want. <laughs> Never mind. I can't, I can't explain it. You want to talk about this next one? Sure. So we have another photo a day challenge coming up. And we thought we would be extra nice and show you guys what the prompts are ahead of everyone else. So here's an early look at what the photo a day challenge prompts are. Start planning. There you and go. And if you're not familiar with the photo a day challenge, we challenge you to create a photo and post it to Instagram uh, following those themes using at least one Funko item with the hashtag Funko photo a day. And winners win a prize each day and the prize is a prototype. Oh, yeah. We have any past winners in the room? There you go. You know it's legit. Got a few right there. All right, the fun continues. We've got another slide here. Don't forget to stop by the lounge fly booth. They got some exclusive backpacks uh, with pouch and pin sets. Those pin sets are really nice. I got to see them in person. I heard an agreement from Gary Lee right Very there. Very nice. Nice, like, box, too. Choice. That's your favorite? Harry Potter. So All cool. Right. Cats and owls. Uh, okay. Those are available now, and there's some bundles over at the Lounge Fly booth, so be sure to stop by. No tickets needed for that, uh, no raffle tickets or, or lottery tickets needed for that booth, so stop on by. Dima, what are you doing over there? Sorry, I, you have to be done. <laughs> is he doing magic Sorry. tricks? He is. <laughs> Basically. Uh, the Entertainment Earth panel, which will be Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Oh, Entertainment Earth fan, Johnny Sisko. Uh, Join toy evangelist Adam Paulus for a look at upcoming never-before-seen toys and collectibles from top brands. And for those of you who are paying attention, the reveal of that final bouton button, sorry, button as part of our button program here at New York Comic Con 2019. <laughs> and then Paka Paka. We, for the first time ever, we're showing off our Paka Paka machines. We have two in the booth. Uh, there will also be one at the GameStop and Think Geek at 1282 Broadway at some point this weekend. So in case you can't get into the booth, and I'm sorry it happens, uh, then you'll be able to go over there and check it out. What do you guys think of Paka Paka? Anything? Yeah. There we go. Got some shout outs. <laughs> yeah, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, JJ. We'll pay you later. Oh, this next one's going to be fun. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yes. That's it. Moving on. No. What? So uh, we revealed Social Media Freddy 2.0 at San Diego Comic-Con. You guys dug it. You saw the, uh, probably saw this glam, right? What you didn't see is the box. New sticker. I know, I, I feel my inbox collectors right now. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> so It's pretty. It's, it it's real pretty. I love that sticker. We told you all this was coming. We're still giving away Social Media Freddy 1.0. Uh, 2.0 will be coming probably beginning of 2020. I think yeah, probably no there. sooner than that. No sooner at There's all. There's no not way. At all. There's no way we have one. Nope. There's not right, one Sully? here. That, that oh, little oh, indicator. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Brian designed this deck, and he put that little raffle ticket thing in there. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Yay, he is Brian. not eligible to win. Let me get my app brought back up here. Y'all got those two. I bet I better hear a whoop now. 
put, let me, let me add, let me put a little pepper on this. Put a little pepper on it. This is the only pepper. one we're giving away until 2020. First. Just one. First. I, there's more coming there in are, 2020. There are more coming, but this is our first sample. But until then, no, this is the only one. This is the only one Ooh. that exists right now. Do you have that box, that super secret box? You want to show them what it says on top? Do you want to open it? Oh, you want to show them? Do you want it? Oh. Uh, All right. Oh, I don't know. You mean this? Yeah. yeah. Holding that up like the Lion King. <laughs> oh, we should son. have cued the, the music. It will that be would have betrayed amazing. by its uncle. All right. Y'all got oh. those tickets ready? <laughs> it's not ready. It doesn't have an uncle. It's Hillary, what? would you like to do the honors? Push that button. It's that. Press no, the just, oh, just read I just that say one. it. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys ready? Push it. One, Push three, it. zero, one, four. Oh, yes. Whoa. Yes. 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 She gets us. And, Congratulations. And we, we want Kyle and Ethan to take You're your welcome. photo and video. Uh, we see that on eBay, and we know who to come talk to. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, congratulations. Also, congratulations. Also, we're watching. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. How'd that y'all dig that? Y'all like that? That's the only one that's down there. What's that? All right, it's time for a little Q&A. Do we have anybody that wants to ask some questions? Whoa, that's, I like that. Look at that excitement. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is a lot of people. I think we got time for about 10 minutes of questions here, a little under. Okay. So we'll get through as Test. many as we can. Brian is going to what filter your, your question. questions to make sure we're asking ask good you. ones. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Um, Hi, Jasmine. This was inspired by the cute little pigeon pops that you guys made. They're so cute. So I just, I really love them. Um, since we're in New York and it's like Pigeon Central here, I was wondering if you have like the most interesting pigeon that you've seen in New York, the coolest pigeon story, prettiest pigeon. Like for example, I saw a jet black pigeon, like all Ooh. black. It was, I thought. I, I, a I raven? Know. It was, yeah. no. <laughs> it, it was a jet Tell me more pigeon. about it, pigeon. <laughs> that was so does, I was does wondering. anyone have a pigeon story? I mean, story? I feel like this is perfect for Dima to kick off. Yeah. Wait, I, I also, I have a pigeon story that involves Dima that I'd uh, like to tell first. That, that is go. a good prelude. Because I feel like he'll tell the same story, but differently. No, go ahead. Hillary. So <laughs> Dima and I were having lunch with my family, and he decided to start scattering bread around for all of these pigeons to then gather. And he kept calling them his following. <laughs> And my family was like, please stop. There are like dozens of pigeons around us and they're pooping everywhere. It's the poop that counts. Yeah. <laughs> wow. but, they, but you were really excited because you, you were like, come on, my minions. They're just following you. If you give them a piece of bread. Yeah. Pigeon yeah. demons? Yeah. Pigeon demons? Yeah. Just black. But I feel like if you were to tell the story, it would be very different. I created a following, and we... <laughs> <laughs> a real twist. No, I, I actually like pigeons because they are so underrated, yeah. and they keep the city clean, and they live very, very hard lives. As birds. Not delicious ones? As a previous bird. As a previous <laughs> bird? I will let you know, they live very hard lives. <laughs> you know what I really love? The pigeons from Animaniacs. From where? Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The good feathers? Because the fe they're nice. like the godfather. Ah. Any they other just have, they just have very, very pretty colors. I mean, jet black pigeon is pretty metal. That's pretty cool. Yeah, jet I, black pigeon. I sure it was like a crow or eagle. I was sure, you know, because pigeons move their head in a very specific way. True. Yeah. All right, we'll talk more about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next up, what's your name and your question? Hi, my name is Brittany, and I'm sorry, my question's probably not as good as that. <laughs> I thought you were going to apologize uh, for asking another pigeon question. <laughs> <laughs> They're all pigeon questions. No, but I'm genuinely curious about when, how long does it usually take the process from when you decide on a concept and going to a prototype and then finally actually getting it out on the market? Is it usually like a speedy or does it, I've seen sometimes where we'll see protos and they never come but 
Yeah. Hmm. That's Anybody? a great question. Yeah. I think it really depends on the license. Like if it's a real person or an artist, like it takes a lot longer for approvals so that like it can take two years sometimes to get that pop out there. So it really just depends on the license. And, you know, if there's a movie coming out, we try and hit that timeline before the movie and, and that kind of thing. So it just, it, it kind of varies. Yeah. And if it's our own IP, it's much yeah, faster. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. What do you think of the fastest turnaround there was for product? Like, Should have been the egg, but you know. Yeah, I, I feel like... <laughs> What, like, three or four months? Three or four months, yeah. I feel like that's a general... That point. Daenerys on Icy Viserion, that, that was happened really fast. fast. Also, Pickle Rick happened really fast. Yeah. 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 There you go. Good question. Thank you. Great Thank question. Thank you. All right, next up, what's your name and your question? Um, my name's Anna, and I was wondering if the people who, like, work at the booth here, are they flown from Everett, Washington, or they, do they live here in New York? Kudos to you for knowing Everett Washington. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Woo. Shout out to Everett. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> want to tackle that one? It's primarily employees from the Everett Fungo HQ. Um, and then there are a few fanatics that actually work the booth that have been working the booth since oh, yeah. for, you know, oh, for yeah. the last like decade plus. So, um, also Funko and Funko South. South. Yes. So it's a combination. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> corporate jet. Thank you. All right. Alaska next up. Name and question. <laughs> giant corporate pigeon. <laughs> Well, my, my name is Mel. Uh, my question was, uh, since this is a Funko Funkest, what are you fan addicts of? What, what are your fandoms? We'll start down with Dima and work our way down. What are you a fan of? Everyone's a fan of something. <laughs> Everyone is a fan of something, Dima. Um, I'm a fan of anything creative. I mean, it, it could be music, it could be movies, it could be paintings. Pigeons are very creative. <laughs> Don't get me started on pigeons because there are so many different types of pigeons you don't understand. <laughs> Wow. But no, uh, they, they create, I'm mostly a fan of anything creative, uh, music, movies, painting. Awesome. Awesome. Ashley? Uh, sports, Marvel, anything, pop culture. Mainly Tombstone, the movie. <laughs> Are you going to reveal your chest tattoo? It's like a Tombstone main, and then uh, I'm a Scott Pilgrim fan and Star Wars fan. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, can't I'm not get biting. enough of it. <laughs> I'm not biting. Killer. I'm a fan of pretty much anything from the 90s, like music, 90s Nickelodeon is a big one. Star Wars, Back to the Future, uh, fan, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. That's Monsters, Inc. I, Pixar in general, but Monsters, Inc.'s pretty good. Pretty yeah. good? Pretty good. What, what are you a fan of? Whataburger. Oh, me specifically? Yeah. DC. Love DC. Everything. DC? Everything nice. Awesome. What's your shirt? Mine's is currently Green Power Ranger. Nice. Green Power Ranger. Nice. nice. Cool. Thank Good you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the question. All right, next up, your name and your question. Hi, my name is Francis, and my question to all you guys, let's say you were tight on money and you had to become a door-to-door -door salesman, what would you sell? Ooh, that's a great question. You're tight on money and you have to become a door-to-door -door salesman. Ashley, you look like you're just ready to answer this one. Knives. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bonus <Kind> points. <laughs> <laughs> that special set. <laughs> I'll go for finger monkeys. Yeah. Finger monkeys? Finger monkeys about this, this big. Like, travel with you wherever you're going, you can feed it a grape or two. <laughs> <laughs> Meat. <laughs> I, I joke you not, there used to be a guy in my neighborhood in Texas that rolled around in a pickup truck with a, one of those freezers you're supposed to have in your garage, hooked to his car battery somehow, and would sell steaks and chicken and fish. Whoa. I didn't buy it once. Just get, no a t -shirt. just get a t-shirt cannon. Just deliver from <laughs> his car. Fire at my front door. Yeah. Just hear a thud on your door, you're ready to go. Hiller? Ooh. Um, I'm gonna go with Halloween decorations. Ah, nice. <laughs> like I'll homemade just decorate ones? your house while you're not home and then I'll give you the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go with uh, zoo books because we have to bring them back and no one's talking about it. Oh, you're so right. Bringing them back. Yep. That tiger center. <laughs> I'll sell them to you first, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, and I'm afraid this will have to be our last question for this round, but we'll try to get to more in a bit. Hi. My name's Nikki, and I always like Howl's Moving Castle. It's the best film ever. What movie pops would you make? Ooh. Mm. What movie pops would we make? Anybody want to dive in? I can dive in. 
I'm a huge fan of the movie Clue. Oh. So I would really like to see those as pops. Yeah. I really love the movie The Brothers Bloom, and there's sadly not a lot of uh, chatter about it, so I would like to see pops for that. I'd like to see more uh, Wes Anderson pops. We've made a few, but I think there's a lot we could do there. Thank you. <laughs> Is that Wes? <laughs> I'm really kind of blinking on that because I'm trying to think of movies that I really, really, really like. And I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking something like a monster with one million eyes or... What about something. Pumpkinhead? A what? Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead would be cool. That would be cool. Six inch. Yeah. Six inch Pumpkinhead. Oh, the witch from the Pumpkinhead. Have you, have you guys seen Pumpkinhead? Yeah. Oh, the witch in that movie is... <laughs> it was Just awesome. Kiss. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. So, the witch from Pumpkinhead. That one. Good one. Uh, of course, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, uh, because the cars would be awesome too, and Slither. Slither? Slither is such a good That's movie. That's a good movie. Imagine yeah. the crazy blob you could do with Michael Rooker's character at oh, the end. Oh, yeah. And did y'all know Nathan Fillion's in that movie? Yeah. <laughs> what? You don't say. <laughs> I, get the, I get the looks of disappointment from Cameron. It's like, stop. I'm not mad. I'm just, just disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> All right, thank you for the thank question. You. I'm sorry, thank Jay, you. we are going to have to pause for a minute. We do have a time limit, so we might pick up speed a little bit here. Uh, we already did that. All right, Funko at NYCC. Just a reminder that Funko is booth 722. I think y'all know that. Right across the way, we got Loungefly, booth 1032, and Reed Pop. At some point, we'll have the other pigeon. Uh, I think they're going to put updates out on their social media channels. Why are you looking at me while you pour water? Don't tease me like that, bro. Uh, that's going to be at the, uh, the North Concourse at the Reed Pop booth. All right, we got another fun thing for you. We talked a little bit about Paka Paka. So visit the Paka Paka machine so you can see that in person. And then, oh, we got something cool that Kyle put together. Where's Kyle at? Kyle's right there. Good job, Kyle. Check this job, out. Kyle. The NYCC exclusive buttons has a fun video. And Kyle, that's a long video. Well done. There's a lot of buttons. <laughs> what, 50 total buttons here at the show? It'd be really tough to collect them all, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be really hard, Sully. I don't even know why you'd bring that up. What if... What if... Why are you holding your ticket up, sir? You're getting ahead of things. He's just ready. He's just getting it ready. What, what's your number? I want to make sure to jot that down over here. I'm just kidding. Uh, we would like to give away a little prize to somebody in the audience. Unfortunately, we don't have us on us, but we do have it at the booth, and we'll get you to come by so you can pick it up. We're going to give one lucky winner all 50 buttons. Nice. In a very nice shadow box assembled by yours truly here on the stage. <laughs> the box of shadows. Are we ready? Ticket number 13268. Nice. There you go. Actually, if you'll come on up, and Brian, would you mind getting his info, and we'll have him come by the booth? Thank you. I didn't plan that out, so Brian, I threw that on you. All right. Uh, for those who are at the mic, I messed up here. I need the mic for the next game. I'm sorry. So if you guys would sit down, I apologize. I, that's on me. That's on me. That could be the contestants. Oh, that, one, that might have worked. <laughs> Too late now. All right, I'm going to call seven tickets. We're, let's see if we can do this a little better than the first round. If you have the ticket, stand up, be loud, so we can play the game. 13, 3, 7, 4. There we go. To the mic. You got this. Nice. Oh, hey, she asked a question earlier. 13, 0, 1, 6. 13, 0, 1, 6. There you go. Come on over to the mic. 13, 0, 4, 1. Come on up to the mic. 13385. 13385. Are you here? Three, two, one. Moving on. Oh, I got to watch an ad. 13362. <laughs> you didn't pay for it? <laughs> I, well, we are going to write them a strongly worded letter about their randomness. All right. I see two more, so that's five. 13147. 13147, are you here? 
13061. Wait, is that him? Oh, hold one, on, two, hold on. Three, we four, have something. Five, six. And there's 13061. All right, we got our seven people. We're going to move through this one quickly because we are limited on time. So, uh, head to the back of the mic line. So here's the game we're going to play. It's called Horror or Norror. Sure. <laughs> that went well, Sully. So, so that went well. It landed about the way you thought it might. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I still think it's great. So, thank you. Thank you. It worked very hard. Of course. So first up at the mic, I'm going to give you three titles. You just tell me which one is not a real movie title, and we're going to move through this quick. Okay. We did that. We're moving on. Round one. Is it The Gingerbread Man, Night of the Living Dead, or Death Becomes Him? Just give me a number. One, two, or three. Um, three. Three is right. Correct. Cool Whoa. sound effect. So come on up, pick a box, show the crowd. Open it up, show the crowd. 21. She got? Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Yes. Woo. NYCC exclusive. Next up, round two. Is it the fake movie? Is it Thanks Killing, Child's Play, or Pet Symmetry? <laughs> One, two, or three? Correct. <laughs> If you haven't seen Thanks Killing, I highly recommend it. What'd you get? Marty McFly. Marty McFly. All right, next up, round three. Which movie is fake? Is it Halloween? <laughs> That's not the one. Chopping Center or Get Out? Nice. Two is correct. Once again, I highly recommend watching Chopping Mall. It's very good. What'd you get? <laughs> Social, Social media, media pretty one corner. All right, next up, round four. Is it The Conjugation, <laughs> Trailer Park of Terror, or It Follows? One. Correct. <laughs> that sounds like something that an English so teacher well. would follow you. This one's moving. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's the sequel. <laughs> Dangling participle. What'd you get? Marty nice. McFly. Oh, the Marty from McFly. Canada. Shout out to Canada. Shout out to Canada. Shout out, shout Canada. Out to Canada. <laughs> well done. No. I think they like that. All right, next up. Is it the cabin in the woodlands? Insidious. Oh. Or I bought a vampire motorcycle. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That was my, oh, there you go. That was my subtle call out to Texas where there's a place called the Woodlands. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Captain Rex. Captain Rex. Last, that's a year old. Pulled that from the vault. <laughs> Round six, is it Scream, Killer Forklift, or A Nightmare on Elm Street? Two, two it is. <laughs> or isn't, I guess. I'd watch that movie. Yeah, I, that sounds like. Yay. Would you get a, for a killer forklift at the chopping mall? I bet you could. I mean, I bet it could be part of like the moving. Hey! What'd you get? Oh, hey! groundskeeper nice. Willie. Groundskeeper Willie from the. All right. Simpsons Are you ready? Collection. Oh yeah. No pressure, but if you get this right, we're perfect on the night. Okay. Is it the Texas Chainsaw Massage? <laughs> <laughs> killer clowns from outer space or the others? Hmm. Number one. I think you might be right. <laughs> and shout out to Aaron Treat on our team back at marketing and uh, Ashley Schwellenbach who helped come up with the games and the clues. Yeah. The pigeon. Got one of the pigeons. The pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> And for the audience, you guys ready for one extra one? Is it The Omen, an American werewolf in England, or poultry geist, Night of the Chicken Dead? Two. I think they know. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. BDJs. We got some BDJs, bad dad jokes. Make Papa laugh. First up. <laughs> 
Yeah, why won't you change the segment Papa to laugh. Make, make Papa, Papa laugh. laugh like Dima said? May Grandpa chuckle? Bad. I don't know. <laughs> Well, well, yeah. Well, absolutely, Dima. Okay. It's on you now. All right. Okay. All right. Absolutely. First one. My friends got me a telepathic abacus. It's the tough. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> botched it. <laughs> That's a botched too. I would back up, but I'd probably it's mess up the whole job. deck. So we're gonna just move. We're gonna move along. Too slow? Yeah, oh you yeah. Have to, do it faster. to be fair, we have been standing since 5:45 this morning. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> to be fair. Yes. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Anyone out there catch that reference? Yes. Figured out. No. I was late to the cannibal banquet. They gave me the cold shoulder. It helps when you tell it right. <laughs> I don't know. It adds some flavor. To whomever stole my mirror, I hope you take a long, hard look at yourself. I like the disappointed look you get from some people. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Why was the baby ant confused? Because all his uncles were ants. She's downright hostile at some of these. (laughs) When do you call a goat? No, messed it up again. What do you call a goat that likes to clean? A Roomba. (laughs) Canada is upset with that one. (laughs) Oh, and because it's Star Wars Force Friday Eve, we had to work in some Star Wars. Why couldn't Princess Leia find love? You heard this one. (laughs) <laughs> She's looking in all Duran places. And finally, what do you get when you cross Darth Vader with an elephant? An elevator. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's like such a warm response. <laughs> no, I, I feel like a couple people are going to jump at us because of these. Like, like, that's it. I'm done with the whole fun cast thing. These jokes are ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> so good. All right. Uh, it is 8.46. Unfortunately, we don't have time for more Q&A. Uh, so we would like to say thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Yep. Hope you guys had a great time. We do have to do, as tradition, our sign-off. So on three, two, one. Thank you, everybody. Thank Woo! you. Thank you.